fiscal uh, on Thursday, the 13th of January 2022. I am sick once again. The sickness is back. But this time I don't actually know what has caused it to happen. Um, but yeah, we had a moving image exam today. Uh, so instead of going to the normal room, oh, and the, the bus or the, the taxi came way later than it normally does, we uh, went to another ICT room. Um, despite the fact that the room that we're normally in is an ICT room, I'm guessing the reason why we don't use our typical room is because, like, especially from where I'm sitting, there are things in the wall that you might be able to use to get answers. But the thing is that there's also things in the wall in the other room that I could look up at to get answers. Because in the room we were in, there was like a bunch of year eights, like their interests, their favourite book, favourite subject, etc. Um, and that that's nothing to do with my image, but then again, while the stuff on the wall where in the normal room is moving image, it has nothing to do with the exam. It's all coursework. So anyway, it was four questions. Question one is identify the three types of classical Hollywood style. Question two is analyze a scene from the movie Man on Fire. I didn't know it was Man on Fire until my dad told me because I described the scene to him. Um, I knew it was Denzel Washington. Under two sections, one and two are section A, two, three and four are section B. Anyway, question three is how is film noir uh, influenced by hard boiled detective fiction? But I rambled for basically the entire question about irrelevant stuff. Um, and question four is analyze this Tim Burton. Poetry thing. Um, yeah. That's it. Went well. I missed out on media, but my classroom assistant was there and was able to give me notes. So, I don't think there's anything for English, but, um, basically, as soon as the bell went to go to lunch, uh, the Friday English teacher came in and said oh by the way I know I said that I was you know that the vice principal will be taking over on Fridays but uh, what I mean is I am leaving so uh, that's that's sad I think that's everything this is memes as of 15 past 4pm I can't play this but you know Devil, my child will pay for Wi Fi, Jesus. That's like this really annoying voice. Get Wi Fi anywhere you can go. And then, when I was talking about that guy on TikTok that's always making fun of Redditors, he would do, you would go like, whoa, hold up, whatever. Which is because of this. <laughs> Joe Biden, this is amazing, I was love. I'm pretty sure it's a picture from Husband Hotel. Matt Horn, did you listen to Dynamite by BTS yet? No, I haven't. The way he worded is simply rude. He could have said, like, not yet or still didn't. But the way he said it seems like, I haven't and I won't. And what about it? I don't care about it now, but I won't bear if anyone disrespects BTS music. He didn't say it's crap. In fact, he didn't say that he won't. Listen to it. You're blowing out of proportion. Like I love Art of Monk. You know I love the fourteen bands that I love. But if if someone said the Nile Horn, have you listened to I don't know, Flu by Katie Elfin yet? And he said no, I haven't. I would be like, oh okay. And then with it, that's fine. Oh, but what about when you kept on getting threatened to be banned because you said stop? Slowing down Art of Monkey songs. Stop remixing Art of Monkey songs. Yeah, well, that's different. They're they're just disrespecting the song. Niall hasn't disrespected BTS. 
good anime memes, try not to sexualize my inner knowledge, impossible. I'm not going to read what this guy said because it's so horrible. You need to stop mansplaining. Maybe start, maybe start women understanding. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkabab. Pipples and the Undertended Cloud. People often get a bathroom pass in the teacher. <coughs> this is Twitter, as of 19 past. Check it out, I just bought into the latest any art NFT, Lived Hard Lions. Cool. What's the name of the artist who made it? <gasps> mm. Best hour of YouTube, voice line of the stream looks like comments. That crap was always funny, I have. I don't know what he's talking about. Give this book a title. I left this meme. Part one. What a uh, weird coincidence. First Mad Lab 2022 starts in two hours, starting in 15 minutes. Whoops. Starting now. Some con artists make their money by tricking people in to invest in public stocks, crap companies, and crypto scams. But this con artist made millions by getting people to invest in a completely fake company that didn't exist. Gregor McGregor. I think by placing a billboard app with just Marcus is awesome. Well, the NRC app because I can. Do it. Your account's been suspended. Free speech frauds at Getter have suspended me for no reason. I didn't even use it. I had no posts. Guess I was too critical of them for suspending others. What does it say when the first platform to ban me is the one that sells itself as a free speech alternative? You're a liar. You did use our platform and you included the N-word in your profile. A clear violation of our terms of service. Getter does defend free speech, but we've got no room for, for racial slurs by then you don't defend freedom of speech because freedom of speech includes slurs. Yeah, exactly. It's so wild how this man's personality has been. I should be able to be racist whenever I want with no pushback for the past like six years. It's so wild for how in the last six years you guys are still trying to gaslight people and the fact of what modern free speech activism is because you can't admit the reason it is because free speech is kryptonite to your ideology. People keep pointing out the flaws in our ideology and it's turning people against it. I really wish it was illegal for them to do that. I've noticed this very strange coincidence where people who are against freedom of speech usually believe in something that doesn't stand up well to scrutiny. And you notice all your garden, even it's dirty, but spring is just around the corner. Disney cast me a leading live action Snow White, but he's not playing the prince. Uh, I thought I thought the lead of Snow White was Snow White, played by Rachel Zegler, who is black, but will not be uh, doing anything to make herself appear white. I don't know anything about No Time to Die because I haven't seen it, but my uncle did tell me that that black girl is the new 007, but isn't James Bond. I don't think we should do James... I don't think we should do 007 without James Bond. Um, Like, we should cast someone new as James Bond instead of just giving it to someone without that name. Uh... And for me, I think it should be Henry Cavill. 